consider to monitor uh, the, their views and engaging on the really the important issues which will what we do know also is there's underreporting and so we need to continue Firstly, South Sudanese leaders have produced a roadmap which extends the transition for two years and provides a feasible timelines to implement the essential benchmarks of the peace process, which in turn would lead to free, fair and credible elections in December 2024. It's an important development demonstrating consensus among the key signatories on the way forward through a South Sudan-owned process, we hope it will serve to recommit the parties to the objectives and goals set out in the peace agreement. Sponsored issue. The President and the First Vice President have managed to resolve the parliamentary impasse which will enable the, enable the transitional national legislature to consider important laws and bills that are critical for reforms contemplated by the peace agreement. These are necessary for the establishment of the institutions which the UN can support and will create the conditions for prosperity and democracy. UNMIS is trying to create zones of protection in conflict hotspots within our means and capacity. For example, last month an integrated peace team led by UNMIS visited Ikotos, Eastern Equatoria, to meet with community leaders. They began a process of seeking common ground through dialogue following a series of cattle raids and clashes between local communities and some national security forces. Let me reaffirm that UNMIS, together with its regional partners, notably the African Union and IGAD, and the international community, will continue to support the parties in fulfilling their obligations to the people of South Sudan.